Number 79 here. I'm back with another one. Dropping gems. Let me grab my water one second, Charlie. Sorry about that. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. So, while I was in the shower, yeah, now I'll be talking to my dad while I'm in the shower. My Himalayan pink rock salt body wash. Ooh, spiritual cleansing feels good. I wish I were drunk. I got two and a half hours before they open. I'm going to meet, get me a couple of beers <laughs> before the killers come out. I ain't joking. No, I ain't. Like, share, follow. Um, hold on. My Bluetooth wasn't connected, so I don't know if you guys can hear the first part, but if not, I'll put on a noise reduction, reduction, redu reducer, reducer, and then you can hear it better. I want to have a talk real quick. Put your chairs up. Come on. Moms and dads. I'm trying to figure out how to approach it, but I'm just going to say it anyway, because I'm going to load. Yep, and my, and my experience has been my experience and my journey is my journey. But I'm not going to go into specifics. What I am going to say is this. We need to break these generational curses. Like that ass. Like, we can't keep doing the same things over and over again. Repeatedly. A repeated cycle. I saw some shit today on TV. About some bust that happened in Florida. I think it was Polk County, Florida. About how three generations of a family. Um, were involved in like drug trafficking. Blah, blah, blah. And the, and the uh, police chief was very pissed. And, but but not pissed like he hated black people or nothing like that. No, he was pissed because he was like, this is a damn shame. You know, I've been arresting these people for 30 years, and it keeps going and going and going. One motherfucker had 42 felony count charges, and then they let him out after his last arrest. I mean, he killed two people, or allegedly, let's just use allegedly. And then he's uh, on uh, allegedly... Um, uh, was involved in the death of a 19-year-old girl f with a fentanyl overdose. His point was that if they were to break in these curses, like if the justice system would have did their job 242 in the clock and, you know, rehabilitated correctly, none of this would be happening. But it's still happening because it's a generational curses. Pathology, it happens. And, uh, you know, not to say that it doesn't happen amongst other ethnic, ethnic groups of people, but black people, we have it kind of like, it's... I would say black people and Native Americans have it bad. That's just my opinion and my experience, my journey. Fuck with your boy. Seven, uh, seven, nine here. I almost forgot my name here. I'm getting old. Uh, but like, share, follow. F share this message, by the way. It's important. Uh, moms and dads, well, specifically moms, you got to start telling the kids who their daddy is. Don't lie. It doesn't make sense. We all understand what shame is. We all understand that people make mistakes. But don't take it out on your kids. It's not fair. You know. Um, also, let's just go over some some bullet points. About why I wish I could do it on here. I could do it on my computer, but I'm just gonna we're gonna do it like this. Point number one. It's not fair, <laughs> okay? It's just not fair. You don't have your kids growing up thinking somebody else is their dad. And then this dude knows that he's not the kid's dad. You get some good guys who don't, you know, who love kids, don't care. But then you get guys that be like, they, they favor all the rest of the kids except one. And he's like, why is my dad hating me so much? Because he's not your dad. You don't fuck with you because he's not your dad. Point by period. Second point. Health issues. Come on now. Genetically, we are all predisposed to certain types of illnesses and conditions and, and yada, 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 that are passed down. If you don't tell your kids who their real father is, they could be walking around with a disease or diabetes. They don't know where the diabetes came from. Or, uh, you know, just a various number of health issues, heart disease, uh, throat disease, ball disease. I don't know. But it's your kid's right to know what they should and should not be aware of for their kids. 
or for their kids' kids. Don't, don't, that's it's just like, we get it. You know, nobody wants to say, mom made a mistake. Mom slept with this person. Mom might have slept with two brothers. Mom might have slept with uh, her husband's dad. You know, some shit like that. It doesn't matter. Because once you make a decision to birth something out of your puss, it is now your obligation to tell your children who they are. Or not to tell them who they are, but to give them all the right uh, tools to give them the roadmap for them to discover who they are by giving them true facts, not falsehoods. It's not fair. All right? Because then what happens is that it's a, it's a pathological thing. There's a shame that's involved. And regardless if parents want to admit this or not, uh, the shit that happens in utero comes out in real life. Five, five, five on the clock. So if you are walking around for nine to ten months or, you know, God forbid you have a preemie or something like that, you know, uh, and you know that you have, uh, uh, you know, are carrying a baby that does not belong to the man that you're with, the baby is going to understand that. There's going to be a shame that's there that does not belong to them. It's yours. And so what do we do as parents? A lot of us, uh, we, we give our shame to our kids. We give our disappointment to our kids. We give our hatred to our kids and walk away like, yep, not mine no more. No, it is yours. And it doesn't belong to them. It's not fair. And the one thing that parent, the one, th I don't really believe like fairness and all that because, you know, fairness kind of turns people into a fucking crybaby sometimes. It's not fair. We'll make it fair. But kids can't make things fair. That's why they're kids. And that's why God placed them in your hands to make sure that you do what's right by them at least. At least do what's right by them. Do not, under any circumstances, mistreat a fucking kid. Who fucking does that? And who gives your kid shame to walk around? Your shame to walk around. I'm 43 years old, and I... Yeah. It's fucked up. Everybody knows a secret, and you don't. But I did. I knew. I figured it out some years ago. But nobody wanted to validate it. You know, everybody wanted, that's when, that's when really the, your crazy started to kick in. Because nobody wanted me to find out. I'm trying to keep me broke so I can't buy an ancestor DNA kit. I don't need that because I got God's DNA test. It's called intuition. It's called having a, a sixth sense. It's called having a third eye, a penile gland. It's called me knowing myself good enough and well enough to know that my daddy wasn't my daddy. I'm saying it because that's what it is. That is the truth. That's the truth of the matter. And that's okay though. I, I, whoever my dad, I still have the best mother in the world. Okay, but I understand the concept of shame, or not wanting to reveal truth, or God forbid, wanting to steal an inheritance from a kid. Got uh, uncle brothers down in Georgia, nephew brothers down in. I mean, it's 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 fucked up because this is the shit that happens down south. We're very still prevalent in the South. Family secrets are the worst kind of killers. It's the worst kind of poison, worst kind of cancer. You shouldn't have to wait till somebody fucking dies to realize that they were your father or your mother or, you know, shit like that. Mm-hmm. But what people will do to keep a secret or some fucking money. And uh, as I like to tell people all the time, the truth is sometimes stranger than fiction. Okay? The truth is that I am this fucking hot. <laughs> okay. Fiction is that. Motherfucker wants you to think this is makeup. Or that what you get from me ain't real. But the truth is stranger than the fucking fiction. I'm a real ass nigga. Oh, believe it. <sighs> but I'm also a real ass healer. I'm a real ass person. I'm a real ass person with a real ass heart. Who didn't deserve to be treated the ways I've been treated over the years because people wanted to keep it fucking secret. Or money. Mm -mm. But again, I forgive you. I don't like you, but I forgive you and I still love you because you don't have to like somebody to love them. I'm an earth angel. I got God's blood in me. I got Jesus' blood in me. I ain't stupid. I know how to treat people and I know how to act. I treat people like how they want to be treated, except better. And you should do the fucking same. So break these generational curses. Tell your kids the truth if you see this today. It's your boy 7-9. I grow, you grow, you grow, I grow, we grow together. I love you.